today we are discussing with one of the important chapter of the class 10 trigonometry which is a future related chapter in your upcoming higher classes that is an intermediate session trigonometry in the trigonometry is a word divided into two parts there is a trigo and a metron that is trigono means three metri means measure that is a measure of the three angles in a triangle that is there are we can observe different types of triangles triangles are six in types that is based on sides and based on the angles that is based on the sides we know equilateral triangle means a triangle in which all three sides are equal isosceles triangle a triangle in which any two sides are equal next is scalene triangle a scalene triangle in which no two sides are equal these three are the triangles based on the sides next triangles based on the angles three are in type that is acute angle triangle obtuse angle triangle and right angle triangle especially for the trigonometry we will use right angle triangle now let us see consider a right angle triangle A, B, C. A, B, C is a right angle triangle. Right angle is at B. In right angle triangle, properties of the right angle triangle, let us consider once. In right angle triangle, the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse, which is the longest side. And in, in a right angle triangle, suppose these two sides are equal. A, B and B, C is called is a right isosceles triangle in right isosceles triangle sides angles opposite to equal sides are also equal that's why it is called as a right isosceles triangle okay now let us come to our general part let us consider the triangle right angle triangle abc in this right angle triangle except right angle other two angles are acute angles that means acute angle means we know the angle between 0 to 90 degrees which is called an acute angle that is what is the mean for this is in a right angle triangle except right angle other two angles are acute angle suppose my consideration is a theta where theta is acute Now, in this triangle, the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. Next, the side opposite to theta is AB is called opposite side. Next, the side next to theta is called adjacent side. Therefore, we conclude that the what are the parts of a triangle? What are the names of different sides of a triangle? In a right angle triangle, when theta is acute, now the side opposite to the right angle is called as a hypotenuse, the side opposite to the theta is called opposite side, the side next to theta is called acute, acute opposite side and adjacent side. Now, let us consider what are the different trigonometric ratios. There are sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta and cot theta. Now we can study in this chapter, we can study about the six trigonometric ratios in this chapter. Okay, in this chapter, we studied about six trigonometric ratios. Those are sin, cos, pan, cosecant, secant, and cot. Now, let us discuss about these trigonometric ratios in detail. Now, what is meant by a sin theta? Sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent side 
by hypotenuse tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side now let us consider here <clears throat> what is the opposite side from the diagram opposite side is ab by hypotenuse is ac that is cos theta adjacent side is bc by hypotenuse is ac tan theta opposite side is ab by adjacent side is bc now based on these three next three are generated that is the next one is cosecant theta cosecant theta nothing but the reciprocal of the sin theta that means cosecant theta definition hypotenuse by opposite side next secant theta which is the reciprocal of cos theta that is hypotenuse by adjacent side next cot theta cot theta is the reciprocal of the tan theta that is adjacent side by opposite side that is let us see what is the hypotenuse hypotenuse is ac by opposite side is ab now just we discussed that that is secant theta is a reciprocal of cos theta that is reciprocal of bc by ac nothing but ac by bc next cot theta is a reciprocal of the tan theta that is reciprocal of ab by bc is equal to bc by ab okay now just we discuss with the definitions of the six trigonometric functions in terms of words now we discuss the definition of trigonometric in terms of trigonometry ratios that is very beginning the first one is sin theta nothing but sin theta 1 by cosec theta that is sin theta can also be write as 1 by cosec theta already we know reciprocal of sin is a cosec next cos theta is equal to 1 by secant theta that is next tan theta tan theta please observe the definition of the tan theta if you divide sin by cos what you will observe hypotenuse hypotenuse get cancel opposite side by adjacent side will come that is tan theta is a ratio of sin and cos next cosec theta can be write as 1 by sin theta next secant theta can be written as 1 by cos theta and cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta or it can be written as cos theta by sin theta now here this tan theta can also be represented as sin theta by cos theta or 1 by cot theta now see representation of the sin in terms of words the definition definition is opposite side by hypotenuse and at the same time again the sin theta sin theta nothing but 1 by cosec theta then 1 by cosec theta means a trigonometric ratio in terms of trigonometric ratio this is but this is a definition next <coughs> after this <coughs> let us discuss some more important formulas of trigonometry 